Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be making eggnog today, so yeah, well, I'm making eggnog today. Right guys, first of all I'm going to be washing my hands. Just putting on the product now. Make it thorough so you can clean all of the germs off. Con continually working on your fingernails. Oh, very hot guys. Now they're clean. Now I'm going to be drying my hands and then I'm going to carry on with the meal. Right guys, first of all I'm going to show you the ingredients for the eggnog. Did I say I'm making eggnog? Leave in the comment below. Oh, you need six eggs. You need one cup of double cream, but this is whipping cream because everyone bought double cream. Some cinnamon and nutmeg. Sugar. And milk. Orgasmic. Right, now I'm going to just be cracking and you need to separate. We don't want the whole egg, we want to keep the whites in case we want to. Some people like to whisk it up after, after it's been in the fridge for a while and then mix it all in. One minute. Oh. So, first of all, you want to separate six eggs. Now, there's easier ways to do this, but what can I say? I'm traditional. I like to do it the way the pioneers would have done it. Back in the early fifth century. And you want to put that into your bowl. But be careful not to break the yolk. And you want to keep doing this six times. Does anyone know what six is in Spanish? Leave in the comment section below. As I will be doing a Spanish version of this recipe one day. On my 600th episode. Special occasion. Oh! I'm just trying to get the membrane off. Because it's rank. Got like a bollock on it. Two. And the last one goes in a few times to get the yolk out and the whites separate from the yolks and the whites. Now this is oh, this is eggnog. I don't think I've mentioned that. This is how the... Bloop. So, you want six eggs. Then, what you want to do is get out a... Excuse me, don't show them my drawer. Your wicks. Then put that down. And then you want to put one cup of sugar in. Now, the last I made a bit of a, not a mistake, but I didn't want to put that much sugar in, so I'm not going to fill the thing up right to the top. I'm worried now. Just that much of a cup. Pull that in. Oops. Then you want to grab your whisk and whisk. You have to make that noise or the eggs won't respond well to you. They'll just they'll just recede. Remember this is a this is a, an eggnog recipe we're doing here. I don't know what other kind of nog you think you know that this could be, but this time of year we like to make eggnog. It's traditional and it's really, really nice. Now you want to whisk this this until it goes lighter in colour 
and creamy in colour. Now my whisk is a bit terrible. So this is all this is, and that's all there is. Until it is creamy in texture, and friendly to the touch. Because there's a lot of sugar in there. I'm not sure if it says to use caster sugar or not, but I wouldn't allow caster sugar into my home after the last time. So, Then you whip the cream in. You open it up like this. Ooh. 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 And then you pour it in. All of it. Every last drop. And, th and then I just whisk that around a bit. Might be nice just like that, I don't know. And then you're supposed to put two cups of milk in. So right now, all we've got in here is cream, eggs, and sugar. If you put flour to this, it would make the batter, would it? Um, I'm not sure. Are we rolling? Yeah. Then you want to put two cups of, oh, of milk. This reminds me of when I was a juggler. Juggling to earn bread. I'm not gonna put exactly two cups in because that's the kind of guy I feel like today. Once again, whisking just to mix everything all up. It will make it a bit foamy, but that'll go when you uh, sort of leave it, you know. So I'm gonna whisk. I've whisked that and I whisked it. And then I'm going to put nutmeg in. Smell that. That smells good. Wait a minute. Let me get my one teaspoon of nutmeg. It may sound a lot. This is one teaspoon of nutmeg. It may sound a lot, but it isn't. It's the perfect amount of nutmeg. You want to whisk that in, showing the bowl, because the nutmeg is what gives it its characteristic flavours. That was one, what was it? That was one teaspoon. Ooh. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon in. Now, some recipes don't call for cinnamon. Some, oh, that's enough. Some recipes don't call at all. I came a call in for this meal. And then I made it. Surreal. Now, we have to remember the five finger rule when we're making eggnog. One is a whisk. Two is you must have love for eggnog. And three, is you must have a wholesome heart. Four, is you must have penance. And five, you need a bowl. Our final ingredient, it doesn't have to be a good name or like this, because we've used the one from Aldi before, but it's bourbon, or, or you can use rum or whatever sort of alcohol like this you like. I suppose you could use spiced rum and you would need to put so much spices in. I can't smell it because of the foamage. So now you need to get your cupping. One cup will give you, it will kill the germs in the egg and also last for a few days. You can put more in, or less, just depending, or none at all, really, but if you're going to have it without any alcohol, 
you may as well just have milk. Unless, of course, you're alcohol intolerant. So, now, you can leave this, uh, you can drink this right away, really. I think the alcohol would have killed the germs, but it will only be as cold as the milk is. What we do is cover it with cling film and then put it in the fridge for, well, the longer the better, really. If you can put it in there for a couple of days, it will thicken up a bit more. Right now, it's quite... Uh, loose also with the egg whites if you wanted to you could whisk them up to make meringue but just before you serve this mix it all in and it'll just make it a little creamier and <clears throat> uh, you to serve this i would put it into a cup a glass and Put a little bit of nutmeg on top and cream. So guys, this has been my eggnog challenge. Uh, I nominate Arnold for me. So this is how to make nutmeg, uh, not nutmeg, eggnog. I'm going to put this in the fridge now and then drink it. So. If you like viewing me, give me a thumbs up. If you want to keep seeing me, give a thumbs up. If you want me to do some more videos, give me a thumbs up. Um, or whatever. So, yeah. Um, good night, guys.